Well, good morning. It's round six. Um, I had a long day yesterday. I was the angling direct um, just outside, well, it's Chesterfield, Dronfield for Matrix. So thank you to everybody who came to say hello and, and, and all the good wishes. Thanks for that. It was great to see you. Um, I'm just about to go in and have some breakfast now. It is the sixth and final round. Bit of context for you, It's uh, the last couple of days it's been gone cold, it's gone back down to 6 degrees, it was 6 degrees driving here. Um, we had a little bit of rain yesterday, doesn't look like there's much wind at the moment, bit of a breeze and it's just gone overcast as well, it was lovely sunny on his drive here so it's overcast. It looks alright for a few fish I think, even though the temperature's dropped a little bit. Little bit of background information for you, there have been um, two matches this week on this reservoir. There was bank holiday Monday, we had a bank holiday on Monday, so there was an open match then, and there was also an open match on Wednesday. So there's been two matches this week, and the key highlight I need to mention for you is both matches were won on the pole. I said it before, this series quite often sees, whilst I haven't fished it for five years, I've seen the results, it can change, and there has been a change the last 10 days in the sense that the fish are coming close. Now, whether they're gonna be close or not today, I don't know, obviously. But I've also spoke to somebody yesterday who pleasure fished here on Friday and his mate had loads of bream on the pole um, on Friday as well. So it's evident that there are some fish that have come in close now. So I'm going to fish today. It's the final round. I'm going to fish it as though it's more like summer. Um, I'm, it's going to be a three line approach, similar to what Matt did in the last match. Uh, but that's how I fish here in summer. I know exactly what lines I'm going to be fishing already because I need a starting point. I think I'm in touch with the venue and I can obviously talk you through the tactics down on the bank but I'm going to put in three lines in today so I'm going to be, put, going to be putting a short line in at 15 metres targeting bream, I'm going to feed that at the start rest it and hopefully go on it and catch some fish at some stage um, during the match um, who knows what's going to happen there are four anglers that could potentially win the section today and win the league on six points and I'm obviously one of the four, you've got Wayne Bartholomew, Paul Holmes and Matt Benwell. So if any one of those lads wins the section today, they can finish on six points or will finish on six points and that will win the league depending on what their weight average is as well. Um, I'm one of the four obviously, so if I win my section I can end up with six points, which is the lowest score you can get to win this league now. But I've got a slight advantage in the sense that because my dropper is only two points, then the worst possible score I can finish the league on is seven points. So it puts me in a good position, but obviously wherever I draw, I'm gonna to wanna to win my section. And then if it comes down to weight, that's completely out of my hands, you know. I haven't drawn in the woods, I haven't drawn in a big weight section at all, all series, yet. Obviously that could happen today. So I just wanna win my section wherever it is. If it comes down to weight, that's out of my hands, but obviously a trip over to the woods, um, if I was to go and get a good weight today, that will obviously help my weight average as well. So. We're going to have a quick breakfast now. Dad's here. Like I said, it's a little bit cooler today, but he'll be wrapped up nice and warm. Um, and that's it. I'm going to go and hopefully draw a peg that's going to give me a chance. Uh, like I said, I just want to win the section first. That's the number one priority. I'll worry about the weight after that. So I'm going to go and get a breakfast, and I'll see you in the draw queue. Matty Benwell. 53, that's not bad in them 50s. Oh, 53. Who's that? Matt Benwell. Who is it? Bart's on 48. Yeah. Is it? What have we got then? Jamie. Oh, it had to happen, didn't it? Who am I, Jamie? Had to happen, didn't it? Come on, your name's Dan. You need that weight today, Jamie. Yes, that's true, mate. 45, Gav Maguire. Gav Maguire. Cheers, lads. Cheers, mate. Well, from a viewing point of view, I suppose it's pretty good for you because you're going to see something different. Um, I'm going to be loading the barrow up. I'm going over to the woods. Um, it's where they've been getting weights. Obviously, section win is priority. If we can get some weight as well, which is what I could do with as well, obviously, to get my weight average up, then, um, you know, it'd be nice to get a good weight as well. Anyway, I'm in the first section, which is peg, uh, pegs one to five. So I'm going to get down there, get the barrow loaded up. I'm going to be sat out in the water. Um, so, yeah, at least you're going to get to see a different bit of scenery.
I've not been over here for uh, quite a long time, but I've said it before, and I'll say it again, they've done a great job. They've reinforced and put all this path in, all the lads that fish here, the regulars. Done a fantastic job, makes it a little bit easier getting over here with your barra. into this bank um, done a brilliant job on this path it's right the way up right up to peg two um, I'm the last peg in this section one to five peg five is in the tree there we go and there we go we're up and I didn't have to put my waders on today I don't think I have to sometimes you might have overhanging trees over here but that's certainly not an issue here so you don't have to wade out too far as long as there's enough water in your keeping it um, well, you can see wind direction, there's no point telling you about that. I think we'll get a few pulls. Might be a slow start. But I've got plenty of bait with me to step it up if there are more fish there than what we thought. Um, just like when I drew over here two years ago, whatever it was. Um, I'll just be ready to feed if there are some there. But sticking to the same approach, three lines. I'm going to get down in the water, get set up, and then I'll talk you through my kit and plan. Just five minutes before the off. Um, obviously, it's a different setup and everything over here. I'm sat out in the water. The wind is left and in, as you can see. I'm obviously sat out in the water, as you can see. Um, same approach as what I spoke about in the van. I'm going to fish three lines: 15, 30, and 45. The longest line has been 50 meters, but I'm bringing it back a bit. That wind's coming in, and as you can see, there's a bit of colour in it as well. And I've got to admit, I'm not one to listen to rumours. Well, not take rumours on board, but I've heard nothing but um, people talking about how many fish have been caught on the pole, either o even over on here. Um, even this week, there's been fish caught at 10 metres and, you know, 15 bream sort of nets. So um, I've got to put that short line in. So um, I'm going to feed that a little bit heavier at the start. I'm going to put about a pint of ground bait in on that line. With a little bit of chop worm. I'm going to feed some casters. I've got casters with me today. Um, the bait tray is pretty much the same as it has been except I've done one big chop of worm so there's three quarts of a kilo of worm there I'm willing to take the chance that I'll need that today I'm going to chop that down a little bit more than what it is now um, obviously just a little bit of water keep your hands clean adding to your ground bait same mix as in every series which is 50-50 um, ringers dark and ringers natural um, obviously the stopwatch ready um, some dead reds some dead fluoro pinkies I've got some lovely red worms for the hook because once they switch on to worm on here which I keep hearing stories that they have then the red worm can be unbeatable and if not I can just stick to maggot or whatever it just gives me another option just to put on the hook to try um, and that one's just some extra ground bait so I don't have to get off my box and um, and refill that if, if need be everything else is the same 4 metre river, river net um, I'm not using the roost today just because the trees are so close here I'd have to have them higher um, ideally if I had chest waders or something I'd be a little bit further out in the water but I'll be alright here so I've got the rods on the bank same setup I've got two 3.3 meter um, excess slims one's for 15 meters with mono and one's with braid for fishing 30 meters and the other rod is um, that that's a four meter horizon I've set up in case that wind really changes and increases or if fish are further out than what I'm anticipating it just means that rod's there ready to go um, two and a half ounce tip, it's four meters with braid uh, and that'll just allow me to go either further or still hit the sort of range I'm fishing now if the conditions deteriorate but the main line to kick off with is 45 meters with the XC class which is the same setup that I have been using all the time nice little horizon feeder um, I can only see one angler, that's Roger on my right who's not on his box yet so I'll obviously get an idea if he's catching other than that, as you can see, I can't see anybody else but Roger is not in my section Roger is the first peg in the section going that way so the whole of my section is that way the guys that know the venue better than I do um, pegs two three four are probably better than this one certainly three um, I'm not sure which anglers are on those pegs today but I've just literally got to sit and fish my own match almost pleasure fishing so I'll check in with you after the first hour
Well, we're one hour in. Um, the boats are on now. Um, that wind's still coming how it was. Um, I've heard that peg one got three fish straight away um, down to my left. Sometimes the rumour is that if you catch early on that peg, it's quite easy to just carry on catching all day, but we'll see what happens. Um, next lad to him got one bream, and then there was, I think there was one other bream caught. Um, I've now got two fish, but the good fish, two, four, seven pound, I would say. They're the only two bites I've had, I'm still at 45 metres. Um, I'm fishing with a bigger bait, just trying to be a bit more selective today. I've got a piece of worm on with maggot as well, like a cocktail on a 14. I'll just see what happens. Roger on my right, even though he's not in my section, he's got two fish. Slightly, well, they're smaller than my fish, but he's got two. Other than that, I don't really know what else is happening, so I'm just going to give it a bit longer out here at 45 metres, and if, it, if I don't catch any more fish, I'm going to have a quick look on that 30 metre line, um, just to see if, you know, we're chucking past them. Uh, but it does, you've got, a, you know, it does look okay for a few fish with this wind blowing in like this, so Just got to try and be patient, the lad that drew here last week It was two hours before he start, started catching, so I'll see you on the second hour Two and a half hours in. Um, I've just had another fish, not as big as the others, probably, I don't know, two and a half pound maybe. Um, the reports just come back now that pegs one and two have both got ten bream each. This is part of the reason why I didn't really want to draw over here throughout this series. I mentioned it a couple of matches ago, I think. Because when you get do get more bream here, they can be it can be you know they can be patchy, especially over in them pegs, those those pegs can be out on their own. But Anyway, there's just over half the match to go anyway, so anything can happen. Uh, they can stop catching and I could have a run of fish. I've now got five fish, so I'm not a million miles behind. And plus it depends on what size they are as well. They could only be, you know, those one and a half pounders, two pounders maybe. You just never know. And we all know what bream are like. They can switch on and off at any time. So I just decided to stay, spend a bit more time on my longer line, 45 metres. But I'm going to cut back on my feed a little bit. I think I've been pushing it a little bit too hard. I know I need to catch them lads, but if those fish aren't here in numbers, then I can't keep pushing the peg because I'll just end up killing it and catching nothing. So I'm going to ease off now just to see if it gets me an extra couple of fish. Just being steady, um, because obviously there's every chance that a few could rock up, certainly on that short line late on. Um, so yeah, so now it's just a case of just keeping it steady now. I'm going to cut back on the feed and obviously as always try and make every bite count and just kind of land the fish and try to claw something back on, on them lads and hope that they slow down catching. hour and a half um, I've just had a great hour um, we got news that the lad on peg one was on 15 fish um, I was on about eight at the time um, but I've just been rotating my two shorter lines I got to 15 fish I've now got 17 bream now um, they're not all massive fish but they're all a good stamp so I've got 17 now I've no idea if peg one's still catching or not I've no idea um, the wind has dropped a little bit as you can tell now bites have slowed down a little bit but uh, I'm definitely back in the race now so I'm hoping this last hour and a half is going to be very hectic right well that's it series done um, certainly more exciting finish than uh, one or two of the other matches 
um, prior to this one. Um, if you're still watching, thanks for watching the series. Um, it's been great putting it together for you. I've ended up with 28 bream um, and three or four small hybrids as well. Um, so 28, it's a good, good weight. I've got 70 pound plus. Um, might frame in the match, but obviously the key is to win the section. We've n heard no nothing else for the last two hours from pegs one and two. So whether they've continued to catch, last time we heard with two hours to go, peg one had got 15 fish. We've no idea if they carried on catching or not. Um, but to be honest, the way that my pegs fished and the way that I've kind of fished it, I don't think I could have got much more out of this peg, to be fair. I'm really pleased with the weight. So that'll help my weight total overall. But obviously, um, it's the section win that's more important first. And we haven't heard anything about the other lads that are in contention for the league. So I'm going to get some kit packs away, um, get weighed in, get back to their quarters and uh, hope, hope I've done enough. to the league um, I've ended up third overall um, second in section today peg one's beat me Keith Mumby well done mate if you're watching 
Um, he obviously got a big lead on me and well everyone else in the section. Um, halfway through the match you've seen, I've started catching, I've caught on all three lines today and that short line got stronger and stronger. But unfortunately by that stage I was kind of probably 10, 10 bream behind him down down on peg one. Um, so you're playing catch up then. And I've had a really good spell then which has got me back in it which is great but it's a big ask. When somebody goes so far in front with bream it's difficult to get that you know get that back so I just kind of had to get my head down fish my own match and try and work out a few things you know what what would catch me more fish and, and I did I cut worm out and that definitely helped on that short line they didn't want worm although I was catching me worm on the hook I'll let you try and work that one out um, but I was catching feeding caster mainly which is how they've been fishing the pole over the last week or so which is obviously why I changed my tactics going into today's match and that's worked brilliantly that short line that I haven't fed or fished in any other match has really got me 70% of my weight today so that was a good call so yeah disappointing to end up third overall um, having led the last two weeks but it was so tight but the nature of this league is that you can actually drop there are six matches but you drop your worst score and that's kind of what's done me a little bit my worst score has been second in section um, whereas some of the lads have had you know quite a heavy score to drop uh, and that's obviously helped them out so massive congratulations to Wayne for winning it well done Wayne um, if you're watching but Wayne knows the venue very well he's an incredibly good angler anyway and he's drawn on that long bank today where it has fish difficult um, but you know if you know what you're doing on those pegs like I've said before it can be a very very fair area and Wayne's obviously done it right and same to Matt, Matt Benwell's been joint first in his section today um, I think he's dropped a five point but he's ended up with because he was joint first today one point better than me overall so yeah so I've ended up with three ones and three twos and to be fair I haven't been fishing here as you know and I'm quite pleased with that performance I'm not obviously being third out of 66 anglers and a few hundred quid better off is great obviously uh, but it's obviously disappointing not to win it when you've led for the last two weeks but having rocked up and not fished it then I'm pleased with um, having a, a second in section as my worst score um, and it just gives you a lot of confidence in what you're doing and the mix and everything that you've been using so I'm just here now with dad we're just gonna have some fish and chips on the way home um, so thanks for watching this film I hope you've enjoyed the series um, I know some of the areas have been a little bit rough to watch um, but I hope for those of you that have never been to Southfield it's giving you a little bit of a flavour for it and there is a full playlist all about Southfield on this channel so just go to playlists and there are loads of videos all from this very same venue so if you want to see more videos like this and you enjoy this kind of thing then just hit that subscribe button right there and if you want to see some more in-depth kind of behind the scenes coaching style videos then you might want to check those out and they will be at the link just there for you thanks for watching really appreciate it and I'll see you all in the next video